Hello and welcome. I'm Nima and I'm thrilled that you're with me. I'm your communicate with impact and influence person. If you have anything that you need around that, get in touch and let me know. So what are we doing here today? Well, you saw the slide. It says it's not who you know. It's who knows you. That's what it's all about. And we're going to be diving into going back to basics to figure out what exactly that means if you're on the right track and what you can do about making sure that you make this happen. Let's get started. Okay, so I just want to ask you a question first off. When's the last time you got an email, a direct message, something from somebody you do not know, and this is key, that's asking you if you're available for an opportunity. It could be to speak on stage. It could be to present something, to make a pitch for a product that you have invented or sell. It could be to give training, you know, whatever the thing is that you do, that you are brilliant at. When's the last time somebody approached you, somebody you do not know, and asked you, hey, I'd like to talk to you about X. I'd like to ask you if you're available for Y. If you have an answer, I'd love to know, so stick it in the chat. But you know what, when this happens, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, come on, seriously, close your eyes and just think about that. You wake up one day, you check your email, your DMs and LinkedIn say, and somebody has reached out to you. It feels amazing. And it's that huge shift transition from chase, 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 looking for clients, people, customers, to being approached with the right sort of opportunity for you. That is gold. Now, all is not lost if this hasn't happened. This is why we're here today, it's to figure out how can you make this happen? Where do you spend your time? What are you doing about getting what you're brilliant at out there? So let's take a step back and look at the slide, shall we? So the slide, let me just share my screen. Here we go. I wanted to get across this aha moment when a decision maker, somebody who can really rock your world, thinks of you for an opportunity. They go, mm, I need somebody who can, and it's what you're brilliant at, and aha, I know exactly who it is, and it's you. You are front of mind. You are remembered. You are ideally chosen, or at least you're part of the that select few people that are approached, right? That's where you want to be. Now, in my case, it's things like communicating with impact and influence. So if uh, an organization has a conference, an event, I get approached, I get asked to chair, moderate, speak at events. Organizations, companies approach me to say, we'd like you to train our executives to communicate more effectively, to face the media, that sort of thing. And I'm also working with people one-on-one -on -one, to enable, to pass on this, this skill, the toolbox, to be able to do this. Because you know what? I believe firmly that being able to communicate effectively with impact and influence will change your life. So here's my question to you. What are you the go-to person for? That's really important. What are you the go-to person for? Are you clear in your mind? If you're clear, great. If you're not, get a piece of paper and something to write with and make a note to yourself right now to say, hmm, what am I the go-to person for? Write it down and then when we're done here, go and spend time. Figure it out. The answer will change with your phases of life, but just get started on, on figuring out, hmm, what is it that I am the go-to person for and what is it that I want to be doing more of? That's question one. Question two, who needs to know this? Who needs to know this? Who needs to have me front of mind, like you can see in the slide, and go, aha, I know exactly who I'm going to approach, call, talk to, include. Now, if you are, if you're not there, the stuff that we're doing today is going to really help you focus on the things that matter. Because I see so many people do a couple of things. One thing is people spend so much time putting content out there, coming up with brilliant things, but they're not 
speaking with. They're not having a, a virtual conversation with the right person, with the decision makers that can really influence your life. So it's about the churn of putting things out versus taking stock, coming up with a strategy and a plan, figuring out who it is you need to be communicating with, and then what about. I see so many people, literally, they waste years of life being very busy, being frenzied, actually, and stressed because they're putting stuff out there, but they haven't figured out who it is addressing, so it actually doesn't hit the mark, and it's a waste. It's a waste of your life, okay? The other thing is this, and this is really important, especially right now, because there are so many conferences and events going on. Well, there are always conferences and events, but right now there seems to be a lot more. And when you have the opportunity to share your brilliance and you tank, when I say tank, it's a very harsh word, right? But here's the thing, you know, I see brilliant people, people who are at the top of industry, at the top of their game, who lose out because they tank. They tank when they're on stage, virtually or physically, it doesn't matter, when they've got the opportunity to share what they know, what their company does, what they do, what they want to be known for. They don't get it right when they have the opportunity to communicate, to reach out to stakeholders, clients, voters, buyers, it doesn't matter who the stakeholder is, somebody. And I don't want that to happen to you because, you know, if you don't leave the right impression, you won't get asked back. And if you don't leave any impression, well, that's a different discussion. We're going to be coming to that in just a minute. So two things I want to say. One, getting this right means that you know what sort of information, content to put out there. You know who you're talking with. It's really important. And that affects how you put things across, the language that you use, the everything, basically. Who you're talking to, really important. That's one. Two, when you have the opportunity to showcase your brilliance, make sure you are fantastic, that you stand out, that you influence. When I say influence, I mean in the simplest form. You are remembered by the right people for the right things. Yeah? You're remembered by the right people for the right things. Who are the right people? The right people are the people who will be making decisions that affect your world. They could be clients if you're a coach. It could be a procurement manager if you're selling, you know, that kind of thing. You've got to be really focused on who is it that I need to speak with. So with that said, let me go on to my next slide. Let me just go on to here. This is a really important one, yeah? Your power and your earning potential is directly linked to what decision makers think of you. I'm going to say this again. Your power and your earning potential is directly linked to what decision makers, the decision makers that rock your world, what they think of you. It's so important. If they think that you are the best person for this, Guess what? Your power base goes up, your earning potential goes up, wonderful magic happens. Okay, so what about this situation? Reputation perception. If they want, if you want people, the decision makers who rock your world, to remember you, to think of you, to have you front of mind, then, you know, you need to have a reputation, a professional reputation. They need to have a certain perception of you. Oh, She's going to be great at this because she is X, Y, Z, right? They have a feel for you. You know, I define perception as that feeling that people have about you when you're not there. That's what you want to nail. Presence, perception of you, presence. Do you have presence in their world? Okay, so let's go on to this. What is their perception of you? What is your reputation? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it nothing? You know, <laughs> I think if I had to choose between bad and nothing, I would choose bad because it means that they have an opinion about you. They know who you are, right? Now, you won't appeal to everybody because not everybody will choose you. Yeah, you, I don't appeal to everybody. 
There are certain types of people who are my people, my tribe, and I love them. They get me, they uh, support me, I get them. There are things that link us. So you can't be all things to all people. So it's okay for people not to want you. But for me, knowing who you are is more important than whether they think that you are brilliant or not, right? So I'd like you to share as well, how comfortable are you with this, with the idea that putting yourself out there, being known, having a reputation, there being a perception of you, might mean that people think that you're not the right person. There is a bad perception of you in certain circles. Are you comfortable with that? You know what? I hope you are, because the more you put yourself out there, the more you run the risk of that happening. And it's okay. It's okay. You can't be everybody's friend. You can't be front of mind for the right reasons with everyone. And it usually happens when people have opinions that they share. Now, on various platforms, let's say LinkedIn, maybe not so much YouTube, but let's say LinkedIn, because it's still associated with the very professional side of life, yeah? I see so many people terrified of having opinions, of even dressing the way that they want to, to really show up and, and sort of going back to mediocre, boring, bland, a bland version of themselves because they think that they don't want to risk losing out on business. Well, I'm here to tell you this. When you are you, you run the risk of getting more people who want to be like you or want to learn from you coming to you, right? That's the thing. If you're not going to put yourself out there, all of you, warts and all, not warts and all, I don't mean everything about your life. I mean, be you when you're doing it, yeah? You'll get the right sorts of people coming to you. You'll get the right sorts of opportunities coming to you. So just to wrap up this slide, if you have a choice between having a bad or nothing reputation or perception of you, choose bad over nothing. Nothing is just nothing, okay? If it can be good, great. And of course, it needs to be good in the right circles for you. So don't cast your net wide, Get really focused on, okay, where are my people? Which decision makers are important to me? Who do I want to be communicating with, connecting with, yeah? And that is how we come to, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. If decision makers that you respect, you like their values, you want to work with them, know about you, brilliant, that's where you want to be. So I'd like to know what you're doing about it. And if we just remember that one thing I see is people spending a lot of time churning out content, putting things out, but it's not focused on who it is that they want to have on side and what it is that they are brilliant at. So think about this. You are at an event, you're at a meeting, maybe you work in a company or you work for yourself, doesn't matter. So you're at this thing where there are other people basically and they don't know you. And there's an opportunity for you to uh, ask a question, uh, comment on something, put your opinion, your informed, brilliant knowledge out there. How do you do it? Well, here's a tip that you can start doing straight away and it'll really start shifting things internally for you and externally. It is this. Hello, I'm Nima and I am your person if you want to communicate with impact and influence. That's what I want you to start doing. I want you to figure out what is it that what's your what's your headline? What's your tag? What's your thing? The few words that will get across what you are brilliant at and what you want to be doing more, how you can help these people. So it could be, hi, I'm John, and I am your person if you have an accounting problem, blah, blah, you know? So it's about really framing what you are brilliant at, what you are the go-to person for, and actually sharing it. So it could be, 
Hi, I'm Tracy, and I will help you get your knowledge online and start earning money passively. You know, it's that kind of thing. Point is, start saying it. Say it out loud. It's not a brag. It's not, you know, we're, we're brought up to feel uncomfortable with speaking up around what we are great at and what we want people to know us for. Very few people do this. Again, when we're asked what you do, or when we have the opportunity to speak at an event or a conference or ask a question at a meeting, nobody does this. Nobody says, hi, I'm Tracy and I do this. Hi, I'm Nima and I'm your person to communicate with influence and impact. You know, we just don't do it. When you do do this, it sticks in people's minds. Oh yeah, I know her, she does this. One, they won't remember the first time maybe, but with time they will remember. But somebody somewhere will remember if you say it often enough, but then you have to prove it. Yeah, you know, you need to actually be good at this stuff. And ideally you want to be literally broadcasting it, just like I am here, right? These are wonderful times. You know, there are so many pieces of technology, apps, you name it. The opportunities are amazing. What are you doing to leverage? to use, to make sure that you are part of the mix. That's one way that you can start getting what it is that you are brilliant at out there. Start building that reputation, perception, community, the, oh, I know the person. Oh yeah, I saw this, I heard her, I did that. It's that kind of stuff. All right, let's go back to basics, shall we? Today's topic is it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. And by the way, this can have a really long shelf life. You know, um, a few months ago, I got a DM in LinkedIn and it was somebody who had seen me on stage seven years ago, right? And she said, oh, Nima, I saw you on stage at this event seven years ago. And when this happened, she has an opportunity. I knew that I had to find you and that you are the person to do this. Wow! <laughs> this is what you want. You want people to look for you, search for you, find you, remember you from years ago. So you need to start right now, okay? <laughs> but that's really, wow, you know, having opportunities, people seek you out is utopia. You do need to really focus though on what you are brilliant at and want to be doing more of, as opposed to just what you're brilliant at, because you could be sort of setting a trap for yourself. Now, if you want help with this, if you want to drill down to any of these things, I'm letting you know that I've just opened up 90 minute slots on Thursdays and Fridays to help. So if you want to book a session with me, a one-on-one -on -one virtual training session via video where we can either drill down to a specific thing that you want to nail, your presence, how to structure a talk that you're giving, how to start your talk. It's so important to get the audience on side. How are you going to do that? Or you just want to pick my brain. Nima, how do you broadcast on LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever live? How do you do this? What software do you use? I'm more than happy to be your resource. I will have the link to that. I'm going to link it to it right now using a ticker along the bottom. There we go. Book 90 minutes with me if you want to pick my brain or drill down to something specific that involves any of the stuff that we spoke about now or the stuff that I work on, which pivots usually around communicating with impact and influence. Deal? If you have any questions for me, you know where to find me. DM me, send me an email. If you have any answers to the questions I have asked, which is, one question was, when's the last time somebody you don't know got in touch with a fantastic opportunity for you? Please let me know. Let us all know. Let us celebrate that because you're doing something right. And then think back, hmm, you know, how did they find me? Uh, what is it that they think of me? You know, this is an important thing, actually. What do people associate with you? So I ask, I, not always, but I often ask people who say have seen me speak, have worked one-on-one -on -one with me or worked with me generally in group sessions. And I ask them, you know, what's the one word you associate with me? And the word impact comes up a lot. So now I know 
what they think of me, what that thing is, and I can start using it when I'm putting things out there because I know that it's true. And yeah, and it's great. It's validated, it's true, and it is me. But it's me from the perspective, perspective of people who work with me, not me from my own perspective. This is something we're going to talk about another time. And it's the idea of separating between what you know, what you want to get across, what you do, what you believe people must know, and between what people want to know, what they want to learn, what they need from you. They don't always match up. And the danger is when you do what you think is right, you lose people. That's for another time. If you have any ideas for topics, get in touch and let me know. Right, I will see you next time. Bye for now.